Crawford Club, and because the leading edge is entering the ball first, there's only one way to chip, and everything we do chipping is going to be designed to keep the leading edge down and underneath the ball. We are not coming in like a putter. There's a million ways to putt. You can have all different kinds of grips, and because you're hitting with a straight face, you get plenty of coverage on the ball. But when you go to 60 degrees aloft and the leading edge is coming to the ball first, you have to get the leading edge down. So there are five things you have to do. I'm going to go over the first three because the first three are the most important. Your weight has to be on the front foot, okay? If your weight is on the back foot, the leading edge is coming up. Your weight has to be on the front foot. It, is, it will vary depending on the lie, but usually it's about 80 or 90% on the front foot. If the lie is really bad, it'll be 100%. If the lie is fluffy or out of the rough or first cut, it might be 55, 60%. But you have to have your weight on the front foot. That's number one. Number two, you have to make a decision if you're going low or high. If you're going low, the ball will be placed off your back foot. And if you're going high, the ball will be placed off your front foot. But you will never chip with the ball in between your feet. That's an indecision. You haven't decided what kind of shot you want to hit. Now, it might vary off the back foot a little bit. It might be even further back if you're going really low. And it might be really far up if you're going really high. But you have to decide what kind of shot you're hitting, low or high, and play it accordingly. If you keep the ball in the middle of your stance, you're not able to put your weight forward. You'll go over the top of it. So make a decision. And the third thing is your hands have to be ahead. You cannot chip with your hands behind because the leading edge is coming up. Your hands have to lead and stay ahead. So there should be an inverse line. There should not be a, a V this way. It should be the other way. If you watch Steve Stricker set up an address, he, cre he, he breaks his wrist and locks it in before he hits. From that position, you can accelerate the hand into the finish. When your hands are back, you cannot go forward from this position. You have to wait until the hands get ahead so you get too much backswing. You can't make a short little chip shot and accelerate to the target if your hands are not already ahead. So you have to do those three things, and if you do, chipping is pretty easy. Now, Phil, with...